you by name, please forgive me. I celebrate all the men of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Are you ready to pray? You see this Bible? This Bible said, you are the child of God, you are the son of God, you can do everything. Do you know the problem? Satan doesn't believe it. The world doesn't believe it. That's the problem. You have to compel the world, compel Satan to believe what the Bible said about you. Do you know the temptation of Jesus? He said, if you are the son of God, it means that that Satan is trying to say, we've been there here, say person saying be son of God. Oh. We are not sure. As we they pass for help, we they hear say you say you go burn your word. We they hear them. But we are not sure. We are here to find out if you are the son of God. Jesus is the son of God, but that day, eh, something needs to happen. Something needs to flow out of him that is sufficient witness to testify about what he's carrying, what he's supposed to serve his generation. So as I'm telling you now, even if you pray for 12 hours, you still need to come back and pray. Because the target is not the 12 hours, it is the something is formed. As he said, some of us can't stop praying. No? I told people, the way you will know that I've died is when people pray, pray in tongues for long and I did not wake up. No, I will wake up. I will wake up. Prayer. Some of us, some people pray to get things to. I pray because it's a calling. Is a calling to pray. If God's purpose will prosper on earth, mighty praying men have to arise. Some of you will not get to hold the mic here. So, don't be, you have to be properly inspired by your pastor. Some of you might not get to stand here. But when you get to heaven, heaven will rank you higher. Yes. Because the business you are doing at your altar is what is powering the flow of the spirit in your church, in your, in your assembly. The pastor that is preaching doesn't know you. It doesn't matter. They don't recognize you. It doesn't matter. Heaven knows you. Yes. And I believe there are many people like that here. People, we are in the last days and we need a, a high measure of prayer and intercession. I have seen also that the missionary manpower we need, we can only come from Nigeria and Africa. The, the days that white people came for us have gone. It's time for us to go to them. Whether you say amen or not, it's a fact I've seen. So we need to prepare. We need to prepare. When your day comes, it might, it might come too sudden that if you are not prepared, you will miss it. Where is the guy on the keyboard? Just sit down, sit down. We are going to join it this night. So what will happen? Ah, the hall is packed, but we will try something. You know what we are going to try? We are going to pray for five minutes. And we are going to hold hands. When we say, let's share the grace in fellowship, wait. Because some people say, why do you hold it? No, there is a revelation behind it. When we say, let's share grace in fellowship, what does it mean to share grace? Do you know what your pastor has? Do you even know what that neighbor standing beside you have? What does it mean to share grace? If you think sharing grace is the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Lord. And then you go, share grace is actually to share grace. To share a grace you have. Or to tap somebody's own. Yes, yeah, so you don't know who is here. Some people here came from three days dry fasting. You, you have been eating since morning. You think you are the same. Yes, you are struggling. You are struggling to fast. You cannot. Somebody is fasting as if it's lifestyle. You need to tap the grace. 
is grace you need to tap. How can you be hearing that people are praying for four hours, five, six every day, and you are struggling to pray for one hour? You need to tap grace. There are men here that are loaded in the spirit. It doesn't matter whether they are ushers. A man of God entered the service one day and an usher was ushering man of God. And he said, suddenly God opened his eyes and he saw that the usher is the one that has fire in her hands. The man of God quickly rushed and shook the usher. Collected his own fire. <laughs> Then when we pray, things will begin to break. Let me tell you something. The Bible said in the book of John chapter 16 verse 12. Jesus said, I have many things to tell you. But you cannot bear it. So his problem is bearing capacity. What can you bear now? Some of the things you are asking God to, if they drop one tent, I'm telling you. A young man met me in administration. He said, Man of God, give me everything you have. <laughs> so I met him. I said, Lord, give him a little portion of what you gave me. So the guy was like, he bent like crayfish. You know that crayfish? And he was turning red. In, remember I said, give him a little. So even a little wanted to kill him. Now the reason is not because what I have is big. It's because of what? bearing capacity. What can you trap this night? Angels everywhere. Mantles everywhere. Grace is everywhere. And then you go because what you have, you came with is feeding bottle. You just carry feeding bottle and go. You, no matter, no matter how much God wants to give you, you can only trap what your capacity can hold. Can't go beyond it. Change your prayer. Pray for capacity because God is moving. It's already moving. Some of that prayer you are praying is already an answer prayer in this kind of environment. What you need is now how, to, how do I carry the one? Why is it that when I go for prayer meeting after seven days, after three days, my fire will go down. Then I'll be waiting for another 12 hours. Then my fire will go down. Is your capacity to trap, your capacity to hold. There is a praying spirit within me, oh. I pray, hear not. Uh. You are going to pray indeed. Not because you want to pray, but because the, the Holy Ghost helps a man to pray. Whenever I come to pray, I ask him, help me. I'm a weak man, help me. When you press deep enough, you begin to rise like a lion from inside. You might be a young lady and you are weak, but when the Holy Ghost begins to rise like a tornado, help me! Help me, Holy Ghost! Help me! My body is weak, my strength is little, but you can help me! You can help me! You can help me! I pray, hear not, ah, uh, the pray. I pray, hear not, ah, uh, the pray. There is a groaning spirit within me, oh. I, patakasate, vile kompa, apapante kompai, iete papanda, wapai, wapapai, wapai. Somebody pray! Pate compa! 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 Pate compa!
Seven, seven. The Bible said when Jesus prayed, he said that, wow, be careful, please. He said that the angels came to strengthen him. I began to ask God a question. He told me that there are prayer angels. Angels, their duty, their duty is around the incense, the altar of incense. They cannot come and appear and do business until there is incense on the altar. When you hold hands, it's not just men. There are angels within your midst and they are there to drop your incense to heaven. My God, my God. Join me in three minutes. Stop. Join me in three minutes. Let's just pray. Spirit pray. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Somebody pray! Paul! 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 Out of your belly! Out of your belly! Out of your belly!
Jesus is calling you, sister pray. Jesus is calling you. Can you hear your name? Ba -ba -ba. So what did it 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 My friend, you are not praying. My friend. Aha! It's time to pray! So that heaven will come! <laughs> oh my God! Let me pray! Hey! 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 Hey!
help us to be, help us to be, help us, help us, why
to do something eternal. A moment in time can capture eternity. A moment in time can capture eternity. Prayer, prayer, prayer. Prayer, more prayer, 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 prayer. Oh, sister, prayer, prayer is the way, sister. I know you are prayer, but you need to pray more. Travel, travel, because until Zion travels, she will not keep her. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. You are not praying yet, oh, uh, yes, you. Put your hand here, put your hand here. Uh, put it here, yes. Then close your eyes. Search in the spirit. That's where it is. Aha. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 